Hey everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and this is the EC1500 by eFlight. This color scheme you see before you has been discontinued and it has been replaced with the military gray color scheme. Other than the different colors between this older version and the newer version, what's different other than an ESC and a few other tiny parts? Not much. So it's essentially the same plane at the same price. The EC1500, at least my version back in the day, came with skis and you just clip on the ski. So they clip on, clip off. It's cool. Great for out here in the winter. So I fly this in the winter as well as the summer. This is a great plane for people who are new at flying RC planes because you can get it to fly very slow and low. If you know what you're doing and you want to do 3D acrobats with it, you can get it to do some crazy things just by adjusting the ailerons. But I, Captain Drone, fly at scale. So you're going to see some scale flying here. But what you're going to see in this video is paratroopers coming out the rear. Yes, this thing has a hatch in the rear and uh, you can fill it full of paratroopers. So I'll put about three in it and then I just open the hatch in flight tilt the nose up hopefully they fall out with gravity and they all come landing back to earth that's the plan that's what this video is about all right so I've got my ace pro pointing at me and I want to show you a few cool things on this plane that I'm amazed so many people don't realize exist so check this out on the nose see this it pops off and that's for you to put an FPV antenna sitting up here so you could fly this FPV now you're saying well that's pretty cool but where do you put the camera let me show you so this nose up front which gets banged around a lot comes right off it's on magnets and uh, yeah that's where your camera goes right in there so you can put a GoPro in there if you want or an FPV camera you fly it with the nose off obviously and uh, yeah you've got an FPV airplane that is massive in size that is pretty cool all right let me show you the inside because we're going to connect the battery you just lift this hatch it's huge and look at inside oh my lord so I'm flying this on a 5000 4S LiPo battery. You need something large to hold the nose down. You need some really good weight, but look at how much space you have. You can put a much larger battery, but it has to be 4S. All right, just make sure I got the correct model chosen on my radio. I do. So now let's connect the battery. Battery's connected. Put the cover back on. And we'll check the surface areas really quick. Okay, you can also see there's some lights on the wings. There's landing light there. You've got a little blinky light up here. I don't know if this camera picks it up. Another landing light there. Another wing tip light there. All right, let's check out the surface areas. This is your aileron. Now you have a choice. You can make this your aileron and this your aileron. Or you can make this your flap and this your flap. So what I've done is I've made these two my flaps and this single one my aileron because I'm not doing 3D flying today. So let me show you my ailerons. Ailerons. That's good. And then I'll show you my flaps. Flaps mid. See, I have both of them going on flaps. Flaps max. But if you flaps want, mid. you could have only this one on flaps and this one connected for the flaps aileron. Level. There's a little connector rod underneath. On the rear of this beautiful bird is the elevator and it does move nice and slow. So you won't get any erratic flying. And of course you have the rudder, which moves a bit faster so you can turn nicely. Then over here at the base, you have what would be your cargo bay. And basically you just put your landing gear down and it opens. You can make it open slow or fast. I keep it on fast so that things come flying out faster than slower and close it. And of course up front, you have your motors. Motors armed. They both spin inwards and See with those little skis, I can move it along the snow. <laughs> it just slides on the ice. So this should take no time at all to get up in the air. So the next thing to do is put our little uh, paratroopers in the rear. They have to fall out, so you don't want to shove them in super far. Uh, sometimes they get caught, which is not good. Paratroopers are in. There's three of them. Push them in a little bit more. Close hatch. How's that? Better? Better. For this flight, I'm going to put some flaps on. Flaps mid. One level because if you look at my takeoff, you got lots of footprints, uh, very soft snow down here. Footprints, big holes there. If it hits a hole, you know, in the nose, it's going to thunder in. So taking off and landing is a bit of a problem. I got to find a smooth area, like maybe over here to land it. It is sort of an icy top to the snow. So yeah, I don't know. It's going to slide all over the place. It's going to be a little scary, but I got to tell you, the plane looks gorgeous. You can see it down there. All right, let's go. For, oh, here I am walking, making footprints. <laughs> I've just destroyed the runway. And as you've already seen, there are cameras on the plane. It can easily lift cameras. So the plan is to get up in the air and uh, do some flying, drop the paratroopers and come back and land. So here we go. I'll just take it out slowly, forward. <sighs> going through all the hole. Oh, it's going through the footprints. It's going to the footprints. All right. <laughs> we don't want that. That's bad. Let's lift this and bring it back. We'll try that again. All right. I'm going to take it more to the left this time. So get that rudder over this way. There we go. A little bit of speed and we're up. 
Flaps off, baby. Bring it around. Fly it very scale. Bring it down towards us. There it is. It's a beautiful plane. It's not very loud either. For having two motors, it's pretty quiet. Okay, take it over there and I'll bring it over our heads. I'll just miss these trees out this way. So I'll bring it over to the left of me. Nice and low. Nice low pass without landing. There we go. You get a good look at it. Beautiful play. All right, I'll go stand in front of my camera now. Coming out in front of the camera so you can see me over here. Yeah, let's get it lined up for a paratrooper drop. Now, the thing is, my camera on my head, I cannot uh, keep looking at the paratroopers falling out as they're falling because, well, I can't see the plane then. <laughs> I gotta follow the plane. So uh, let's go one more low pass and then we're gonna do paratroopers. Here we go. Can almost do a touch and go, but there's too many footprints here. It just flies so beautifully. There's no wind today either. So that's why I'm out to do the paratroopers because the paratroopers will blow in the wind. So all we do is go over here and watch this. We're gonna do paratroopers. Nose down and then nose up. Open hatch. There they all go. Did you see them all? Hopefully close hatch. So the paratroopers are coming down. I can't look at them, so I don't know if any camera picks them up, but I'll fly back in their general direction so we can see them falling. Okay, this guy's coming back. I'm gonna fly over to the paratroopers. There we are. I think they'll land it. Big landing. Here we go. Turn around. Get it to dive down, and here we go. Landing on skis. There we go. Land right in front of me. And I have no brakes. Watch this. No brakes. I can't stop it. Hits the grass, still going, still going, and finally it lands in a little tiny footprint. So you see, it it just went all over this. It just kept sliding. In the winter time, if there's lots of powder snow, it's great to fly this because the powder snow will stop it really quick, and uh, that's what you want. Not not this icy stuff. And look at this, we have melted snow here. We have rain coming in the forecast, and uh, this grass is going to show up even more. This is February in Canada. This is this is not normal for my area. So we get a lot of puddles, a lot of rivers. But yeah, that's see what I mean. It stopped right there in a big footprint that's melted. <laughs> If it wasn't for the grass, it would not have stopped. So that was pretty cool. I've done this many times before and it's been very successful. The only problem is if it's wind out and you drop these guys, they might, uh, you know, fly quite far, quite a distance and you really have to search for them. So today was a good day. The only bad thing was I don't think they really opened, even though I was trying to stay high enough, but not too high so that my camera up here could still see it. And I should also answer a question I get asked every time I make an RC plane video. And that is a lot of beginners who want to get into RC planes would love to buy something like this. It's a beautiful plane and they they think it comes with everything you need in the box. In the RC plane hobby, you have to look for an RTF kit ready to fly. This is not one of those. It does come with a Spectrum receiver or you can get it without one. The people who get it with a Spectrum receiver usually already own a Spectrum radio. So I own a Spectrum radio, so of course I got it with a Spectrum receiver. But the battery that I showed you that's inside is my battery. I had to buy that. The battery charger to charge that battery is also mine because I'm in the RC hobby, so I have a battery charger. I probably have a hundred battery chargers to charge all sorts of batteries. So yeah, you have to own all that stuff if you're going to be in the RC hobby to do RC planes unless you buy a ready to fly kit, RTF. All right, we're losing the sun right now, so I'm going to stop flying and stop talking uh, and go fly some other planes with the guys that are over there. And uh, all I want to say right now is I'm going to put links below to this plane, but it comes in the military gray color. It doesn't come in this Coast Guard goldfish uh, finding dory color scheme anymore. It, the military gray color uh, looks a little bit more scale and it's actually this color right here. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe my hat cam can pick it up. That's the color. So a lot of people like that. I sort of like this one because it stands out in the sky uh, and it looks different. But with all that said, if you enjoyed videos like this where I fly RC planes in the winter on snow, ice, all that in the freezing cold, well then if you want to see more plane videos like that, you have to subscribe. There's a subscribe button someplace down here because I put these plane videos out at least once a week depending on the weather. But for now I say, yeah, check out the links below. Go find this plane, see if it's for you. It is a bit expensive, but I think it's under $500 US. I know that's probably scaring the heck out of you, but uh, it's a big plane, so you, you pay a lot and there's a lot of technology in it. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more cool reviews like this. Until then, I say bye.